Hi and welcome back. Today I want to show you how to crochet these cute little baby mittens in alpaca yarn. Um, we will begin at the top of the mitten and then work our way in rounds all the way to the cuff. And then we'll work a ribbing from side to side, back and forth, and finally sew it up. And you can wear it like this on the baby. So it goes a little bit up the arm or you can fold it like this one. So it's a bit more tight and a little more stylish and cute if you want that look for your baby. So let's begin. First, I want to talk a little bit about the materials I've used for these mittens. I've used this alpaca yarn. I really like alpaca for baby things because the skin are able to breathe. And it's really soft and it is kept warm at the same time. I'm using a DK weight for these today. Um, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving a link in the description for where you can buy the yarn and how much you'll need for this pattern. For all my alpaca yarn projects, I only use this yarn from Gorgeous Alpacas. They're a small alpaca farm located in England and they produce the most amazing blends I've ever tried. I really love everything about it, but especially the smell. Alpaca is so great because it's stronger than mohair and finer than cashmere, and then it's smoother than silk but softer than cotton, and then it's more breathable than thermal knits. If you're planning a project with alpaca yarn, I definitely recommend checking out Gorgeous Alpacas. Then I've used a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors, and finally I've used a tapped needle to weave in the ends. We begin with a magic ring. So take the short end of your yarn and wrap it around your finger three times. Then grab your hook, push it underneath all three, grab the final one and pull it through the other two. And then secure the yarn. Take the ring off your fingers and you have your magic ring. Now do six single crochet into the ring. So first insert your hook in the middle of the ring, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Again, insert your hook into the middle of the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's two single crochet. We're going to do six. So insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So another three single crochet in the ring. That's five. And six. Now we will pull it together. So you pull the short end just to see which, mo which one moves. This one. Then you grab the one that moved to pull the ring together. And then finally you grab the short end and you have your ring. So you have this one over here as your first single crochet. We will do a slip stitch in the first single crochet. You can count backwards, backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through. You have six single crochet, <coughs> sorry. Now we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. So in this first stitch where you did the slip stitch, we will do two single crochet. So insert your hook in this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. 
and another single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. So now I have two single crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch we will do two single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And another single crochet in the same stitch. So you insert the hook in the same stitch where you just did the single crochet and do another single crochet. In the next, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch again. So, one, and in the same stitch, two. And in the next three stitches, we will also do two single crochet in the same stitch. And the final one, this one, two single crochet in the same stitch. So we did six single crochet in this magic ring and then we did two single crochet in every stitch. So now you should have 12 stitches when you count all the way around. So now we join with a slip stitch. So in this first single crochet you did of the round, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. Whoops. So now we joined the round with a slip stitch and we're ready to go to the next round. In this next round, we will do two single crochet in the first stitch. So this stitch where you just did the slip stitch, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook in the stitch where you just did the slip stitch and do two single crochet, two single crochet, just like the previous round. Then in this next stitch, we will only do one single crochet. So insert your hook and do one single crochet. It's a bit tough, this one. That's it. <clears throat> then in this next one, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook and do a single crochet. And then insert your hook in the same stitch and do another single crochet. In this next stitch, we only do one single crochet. And in the next, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch. So for this round three, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch, then one single crochet, then two single crochet in the same stitch, then one single crochet. So in this next stitch, we will do two single crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next one, one single crochet. So continue all the way around with two single crochet, one single crochet, and so on. When you're all the way around, you have 18 stitches. And when you're all the way around, you have 18 stitches. We will now join with a slip stitch. So in this first stitch of the round, we will do a slip stitch. And in this first stitch, we will do two single crochet. So insert the hook again and do two single crochet in the same stitch. And 
And then in the next two stitches, we will only do one single crochet. So in this stitch and in this stitch, you do one single crochet in each stitch. So insert your hook, do a single crochet, move on to the next stitch, do a single crochet, and then in the third one, you will do two single crochet in the same stitch. So one single crochet, insert your hook in the same stitch, do another single crochet, and then in the next two stitches, we will do one stitch in each, so one single crochet in the first one. Move on to the next stitch and do one single crochet. And then in the third one, we do two single crochet in the same stitch. One. Two. Then in the next, only one single crochet. Continue all the way around with two single crochet and then two stitches with only one single crochet. When you're all the way around, you should have 24 stitches. When you're all the way around and you have your 24 stitches, you find your first stitch of the round and do a slip stitch to join the round. So now we are done con uh, increasing, so we will now move up the, the hand of the mitten. So from now on we will do one single crochet in each stitch. So you begin with the first one where you did the slip stitch. You insert your hook and do a single crochet. And then you do one single crochet in each stitch. All the way around. This first one is a bit tough, but then one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we will now stop increasing and just move up the hand. So one single crochet in each stitch in this round number five. When you're all the way around, you join with a slip stitch and then you continue and repeat this round number five until you are at 14 rounds. So you can count from this middle one. That's number one, two, three, four. And you just began number five. And you will just do one single crochet in each stitch for the next eight rounds. So when you finished your 14 rounds, you join with a slip stitch in the first stitch of the round. And then we chain 15. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 15 times. Two, three, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and fifteen. And then you turn and skip the first chain, work into the second chain, and do a single crochet. So insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. In the next chain, you do a single crochet. And continue all the way down with one single crochet in every stitch. And you skip the first one, so you have 14 single crochet when you're all the way to the bottom. When you're at the bottom, you have a string looking like this. And you have your edge down here. You will now find your next stitch, this one, and you do a slip stitch into this. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. 
in the next one you also do a slip stitch so insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through and then we work up the same string again so you turn the work and then you will be working into these stitches first you skip your two slip stitches the two slip stitches you just did down here skip these move on to the third one sorry if you are able to see what i'm doing skip these two and move on to the third one and do a back loop single crochet into this so skip two insert your hook in the back loop only this is your front loop and this one is your back loop so insert your hook in the back loop and do a single crochet so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two in the next one a back loop single crochet so insert your hook through the back loop and single crochet and back loop single crochet and just continue with one back loop single crochet all the way to the top of the string and when you're at the top you chain one and then you turn Then you skip the first one, move on to the second, and do a back loop single crochet into this. So skip one, insert your hook through the back loop, do a single crochet, and continue with one single crochet all the way to the bottom. One back loop single crochet in every stitch until you have 14 stitches. And at the bottom, we do the same thing as before. We slip stitch in the next stitch. And another slip stitch. Then turn the work. Skip these two slip stitches and back loop single crochet into the third one. So insert your hook through the back loop, single crochet, and do one back loop single crochet all the way to the top. At the top, you chain one and turn the work, work your way all the way to the bottom, then do two slip stitches on the edge of your work, and so on. Then you see this brim coming. And you just continue the same way all the way around and I will meet you back up when we are at this point again and I'll show you how to finish. And when you're all the way around you have your cuff done. So we cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail and then we pull the yarn through the needle just pull the loop and we're done with the hook. Now we want to sew it up. We can do it with the crochet hook and make a slip stitch all the way to connect these ends. But I'm going to do it with the tapestry needle. But first I turn the mitten over so I have the inside out. So I make the, the seam on the inside of the mitten. And this one I will also weave in just to make sure. Just a little bit. And then we thread the needle. And then we want to make a seam all the way to the bottom of the cuff. And 
and I'm just doing a simple seam. Just make sure it it makes a nice edge on top. And then sew all the way one in every stitch along the cuff. So insert your needle in both stitches and make a seam all the way to the bottom. And then down here, you secure your yarn and weave in your end. So I'm just pushing the needle through some of the stitches and then go in from somewhere else. And then again, through the same stitches, just like a tunnel. And one last time through the same stitches, just dive in somewhere else. And don't pull too much, then cut the yarn. And that's it, you can turn it over. So you have the right side out and you have your little mitten. So you can fold this so it's a bit more tight and you can have it out if you want it longer up the arm. And then you make another one and you have a little pair. They are so cute. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.